This makes me very sad, but I have too many sneakers, so of course your boy had to get rid of these beautiful masterpieces right here. These were, of course, raffled on Robotus and Poppy. If you guys do not follow that for whatever reason, change your life, go follow that. You guys will see several other sneakers. Some other sneakers that were sold on Robotus and Poppy. We got the Off-White Converse from the original 10 Ghost Pack. We got the Travis Scott Air Force Ones. These are absolutely beautiful, but I just feel like they're gonna get dirty. I've worn both of these one time, and I cannot justify keeping them when they are worth so much money. Also, the Ben & Jerry's that you see on both sides, flanking the other two sneakers. Uh, these things are gorgeous, but once again, I had to sell them on Robotus and Poppy. I just cannot justify keeping extremely expensive sneakers. I love the drip on the swoosh. I love the cow pubic hair, but of course, your boy cannot justify keeping them, so I had to sell all of them on Robotus and Poppy. And the reason I cannot justify keeping really expensive sneakers, I mean, I do have some expensive sneakers. You guys will see my sneaker collection. I have some hype sneakers, but if I keep an expensive shoe, it's because that means something to me personally. A lot of the sneakers that you guys will see, a lot of sneakers that actually mean the most to me are not really that hype, which you guys will see in the this collection video. Now, before we get to it, I just need to say, of course, please smash the like button down below. Literally the last video, I did my top five most expensive sneakers. I did not expect that video to get that much love. It has not even been a full 24 hours. That video already has almost 3,000 likes and over 20,000 views. So thank you guys so much for the support. It means a lot when you guys show love, especially to the non-supreme content. That literally means the fucking world to me. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate it more than you know. Also shout out to everyone who comments first, second, third. I think the last video has over 300 freaking comments, which is absolutely insane not to mention the supreme drop list and live cop videos have been fucking killing it so thank you to every person that supports me but right now i gotta go pick up my bro sean real quick <sighs> this video is gonna be fucking insane Ooh, okay man my brother sean is in the vehicle right now sp i can't even let you hold this 24 8 we gonna the blade go get a cold bitch you get cut like this cold bitch this is like a rap video right now. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this right here is my house. I live in uh, this, which used to be a convenience store. For those of you guys that don't know, we are currently in Oakland Park, the neighborhood in which I was raised in. I was actually raised off 38th Street and 45th Street, if you are familiar with Tacoma, but yes. We are here. My brother, Sean, has come. He has pulled up on me to help me shoot this sneaker collection video. It's gonna be a lot easier to have someone actually help me shoot this collection video. Like, there's just a lot to do, and if I just sit down and like move all my sneakers, it's gonna be easier if I just have the bro help me. So here we go, we're gonna come inside. Yeah, I like it here, man. I like living here. Okay, so I need to do a room tour first. I need to change these glasses because right now... Here, can you hold this, Sean? Please. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Right now, your boy's looking like Harry Potter, so we need to get the uh, Gucci frames on. Designer! baby. <laughs> I've been meaning to do a room tour. A lot of people have been asking me to do a room tour. The reason I have not done a room tour yet is because I have been making changes to my humble abode and my kitchen looks like absolute dog shit. I don't really feel like taking you guys in there, but right now I'm gonna show you guys some of my sneakers. So, cracking into some of the sneakers, getting straight into the sneaker collection. Here we have the uh, CDG. Let's get some of that dust off. We have the um, CDG Supreme Forces. I think Forces are one of my favorite shoes. I do not like how much they crease. I do usually wear these with Force Shield. I'm really sad I had the uh, CDG uh, Eyeball Forces and and I am an idiot and sold those and that's one of my biggest regrets. I in no way would consider myself a sneakerhead at all. It's one of the things that got me into sneakers and I'll talk more about that later on are like blazers, SB specifically, and that's really what I came up wearing. So you'll see some older, like more generic blazers that aren't really hyped, but that's what got me into shoes. That being said, I'm not like a huge sneakerhead or anything. I just like what I like. These right here are the Supreme Spectrums. These things are crazy, bro, with the flames. I actually love these, man. I forgot that I had these. These are so fire, especially with like the speckle lace. Yeah, let me get those since you forgot you had them. <laughs> I'm wondering what you think of these right here. I feel like these are slept on. A lot of people don't really care for them that much, but I like them. I think they're hard. I like the backstory with these. For those of you guys that don't know, these are the shoes that they give a lot of uh, Australian prisoners. I think I have these in white and black. Then we got some Vans right here. Apparently, these were actually rumored to be the shoe that Virgil made with Vans before he went to Nike. Here we have some Doc Martens. These are the neighborhood Doc Martens. I love these. I do want to get another pair of Doc Martens. I've been looking at the Raph Simmons Doc Martens that are currently on sale on Farfetch'd. <laughs> and by the way, guys, speaking of other collections, if you guys want to see more shit, Supreme collections, I do owe you guys a North Face collection. I thought about doing an entire Supreme collection. Please take a second, hit that like button down below. I'm actually recording this video because you guys absolutely destroyed the like button on the most expensive sneaker or my top five most expensive sneakers and I cannot thank you guys enough. Here we have the Undercover Converse. These things are fucking sick to me. I love Undercover. Uh, if you guys ever see my pants collection, which I don't know if I'll ever do, this video would have to get like probably like five or 6,000 likes for me to want to film a pant collection video. You guys will see some crazy old Undercover pants. Once again, I have these also Undercover Converse in yellow. These ones are fire. These are the Golf Wang Vans. These are before the Converse collab 
collaboration. I got these. I traded my bro Masayuki for these right here. And oh my god, these are so fire. I have yet to wear these. I do plan on pulling these out. I low-key gave him a really good trade, but he's a solid dude. And uh, I'm just so glad to have these in the collection. I love these. I think these are one of the most slept on shoes. These are the Fear of God Skylons. I just love the dad shoe looks. And you, you guys will see some like Asics and Pumas and New Balance. Just all sorts of just random ass shoes that I feel like most people don't appreciate as much as they should. This is actually my favorite shoe that I own. It's your go-to. This is my favorite shoe. Sean knows he's seen me wear this shoe many times, but the this is gym. the This is the DS one. I have another pair that I have beat to shit. These are the Neighborhood Converse One Stars. For those of you guys that do not know about the One Star, Kurt Cobain actually committed suicide allegedly. There are some uh, rumors that he was actually murdered, but when he passed away, when he left us, he was actually wearing a pair of One Stars. So this shoe is very just special to me personally. Here we have some Axel Arigatos. These were actually sent to me for like a sponsor. Kind of reminds me of some common projects. You have this little Japanese symbol on the back. Now, I mentioned I was a big fan of SB Blazers. So, of course, when Supreme collaborated and did an SB Blazer, I had to cop. What the fuck going on with this text message? Like I was saying before, I was really interrupted. I was a big fan of SB Blazers. And so, of course, I had to get these. I would love to get my hands on the quilted Blazers eventually. But these are some of my favorite shoes. I got the tan ones. And, of course, I had to get these rose ones with the gum bottoms. Like, these are just so fire. One of the reasons I like Blazers coming up as a kid was because they had the craziest colorways. And I'll show you guys some of the more generic blazers that I have in my collection that are just like fire colors. And I just always love the crazy loud shoes. You have the little stars right there. You have FTW f the world on the back. You have the Supreme box logo on the tongue. And then of course the Supreme gold box logo stamp right there as well. I still honestly should get the baby blue ones. In fact, I'm probably gonna go do that if I can find one for a decent price. I have some hiking shoes right here. These are Y3 hiking shoes. I'm actually not gonna open these because I don't feel like opening every box. Um, Here we have, actually, you know what? I feel like I don't wanna get straight into the hype shit. I'm gonna take you guys to some low key shit first. This is where the magic happens. As you guys can see my bed, it's just the perfect place to sleep and rest my head. Bars. Getting into some of the sneakers that we have in the collection. These actually have a lot of sentimental value for me. Kind of insane that this is the first sneaker I grabbed. It's in the uh, neck face box because I did used to have a pair of neck face blazers, but they were size nine, a little bit too small for nine and a half, especially in blazers. Um, This right here is the brown and Carolina blue. So the story behind this sneaker, when me and my boy Josh first got into shoes and just clothes in general, this was one of the first shoes that we got. I ended up rebuying this pair. I don't remember what ended up happening to those but at the time neither of us had money so he would get a pair of shoes and then like I would get a top that went with those shoes and then like I would get a pair of shoes he would get a top that went with those shoes and we would like mix and match and like share clothes because we just didn't have the money to have a complete wardrobe like I have now as you guys can see uh, I have a lot of clothes probably way too many but this shoe just has a lot of sentimental value for me just because this is one of the first sneakers that really got me into shoes I feel like with this colorway this brown Carolina blue like if this was a Travis Scott sneaker you know like it would go crazy and it's just like sad to me because shoes like this really do not get the love that I feel they deserve Another sneaker that I believe is a little bit more, <laughs> definitely more low key. This right here was one of the first pairs that I bought when I first started making uh, a decent, like average amount of money it was when I joined the military. I remember I used to wear these and a lot of people in the military would look at me weird. If you're in the military and you are into clothes, you probably understand. But yeah, man, definitely uh, one of my favorite shoes. These are the Azure Blue SB Blazers. I love these sneakers. You can see I've worn them a lot. The structure of the shoe started bending in and on top of that, the suede on the toe box is a little bit rough. Definitely one of my favorite shoes though, man. Both these shoes have a lot of sentimental value for me. My favorite sneakers are like my favorite shoes in general are probably SB Blazers. I love skate highs. And then of course the dunks. I love dunks. Here's some hype dunks. Obviously these are the off-whites. I don't really like these little strings. I might honestly take these off and just wear them normal. Either that or I'm gonna sell them because I really just do not like the little string addition. I like these like lace hoops. Uh, but other than that, I don't care about them. I do like the pine green colorway. These are the Travis Scott Jordans. <laughs> a lot of people like these. If I'm being honest though, I don't really care about them. And this is a pair that may eventually end up getting sold and uh, not be in the collection. I would rather just stick pink laces in the Blazer SBs that I showed you guys. The hype behind Jordan 1s, like I never really cared about Jordan 1s growing up as a kid because I didn't have any money. Jordans were always just way too expensive for me. I think that's one of the reasons why even when I started making a little bit of money, I gravitate towards blazers because I felt like the price was more reasonable. Anyways, we have some dunks. These are not really a super hyped pair, but now that dunks are a little more hyped, I feel like every pair is hyped. The jade colorway with the gem red accents. When I was first getting into dunks and SBs in general, I really wanted the Tiffany SB dunks. Uh, I could not afford those. I just love that mint green color. That's not quite the exact same, but this is kind of like my alternative. Like I would wear these more than I would those. those have some sentimental value so hopefully someday I can add those to the collection I don't know I'm not paying that price tag bro especially now with the dunk hype all that 
inflation has gone up and I just cannot justify it. Here we have the Fear of God uh, Essential Pack Sun collaboration with Converse. I do like these a lot. I haven't got to wear these, but I have worn the other ones that are uh, black instead of gray. We have some Suey Cokes. This is something you won't see in a lot of the other, uh, like, I don't know, whatever genre of YouTube I'm in collection videos. These aren't just any Suey Cokes. These are the Mastermind Suey Cokes. It's in a different box, but I love these Suey Cokes so much, man. I'm a big fan of Mastermind. Obviously, I can't afford Mastermind because it's like $2,000 for a flannel. But speaking of Mastermind, here we have a collaboration with Kith and Vans. These are some Vans skate highs. The attention to detail on these are insane. Engraved writing on the midsole, the Vans little stripe right there, metal skull and crossbones. I love these sneakers. As you can see, I have not worn them yet. Then we have the Travis Scott Air Force Ones. These right here are so freaking beautiful. And uh, a lot of people hate on these. I don't really wear them with the lace covers, but this is one of my favorite pairs. You guys will see why I like these so much when you see some of my other Air Forces, but I absolutely love these sneakers. I feel like Travis Scott has been killing it. Like I said, I don't really care about the ones, but these and the Dunks, I think, are some of my favorite shoes that he has released. Not a lot of people care about skate high, so I'm gonna show these off real quick. We have the double taps right here. Then we have the Supreme Fuck the World uh, Creme de la Creme Bukaki colorway checkered uh, print whatever the fuck <laughs> skate highs right here another pair that i like that i copped that i really wanted but i don't really know if i'm ever going to actually wear those now up here we have this kevin durant box it's empty i did buy a pair because i want to get some basketball shoes anyone that knows about me like if you really know me like i am a true baller sean behind the camera can vouch that i am a true basketball player i'm a baller like you do not want to see me on the court i may be five seven but i'm literally the modern day mugsy bogues no okay. cap <laughs> Anyways, right here we have this pair from Puma. I feel like Puma absolutely f***ing killed these. I had to like beg to get these from Puma. This is a Mercedes collaboration. As you guys know, if you guys watched the video where I purchased my Mercedes, honestly, the type of person I am, like I love my car, but if I'm being real, like I just feel like I could have got a Honda Civic and been just as happy. I don't really need all that extra shit. I got an entry level Mercedes. It's a Mercedes A-Class and I already feel like it has so many amenities that I don't really need, but it was like a special moment for me because if you guys know, uh, I take care of my mother. I help my mother out financially all through YouTube and reselling clothes and thrifted clothes and stuff like that. It's just a blessing to even be able to own that vehicle. That being said, these, I just, I saw these on, I believe Hypebeast or High Snobiety and I hit up my plug at Puma and I was like, Ashley, please, for the love of God, find me these shoes. And I just think they're so sick. They look like some designer shoes or something. To me, I would way rather have these than some like Balenciaga triple S's or anything like that. You got the little Mercedes uh, emblem right there on the back with a little AMG tab. And uh, yeah, man, I really hope I see more car collaborations like that. Those are one of my favorite Pumas. You guys will see some other Pumas that I really, really love as well. Moving on, we have the Sean Watherspoons. This, of course, being into vintage clothing and being into thrifting, I love these. I feel like he killed it. Obviously, you have the Air Max 97 upper with the Air Max 1 midsole. Then on top of that, you have that velvet lining. I'm telling you, that is going to feel softer than a canary bird's pubic region. These things are so freaking sick. How my man legit took this futuristic looking sneaker, gave it an Air Max 1 midsole, and then made it out of the corduroy upper, and it just gave it this like kind of vintage vibe and I feel like I really respect that sneaker a lot. Of course, I do got a shout out from Talking Vintage. I got a shout out my man Paul Cantu, the true legend in the vintage game. But anyways, here we have my favorite Travis Scott, man. If you know, like I'm not gonna talk too much detail about why I love the sneakers so much, but if you know where I'm from, if you know any history about the South End or the neighborhood that I mentioned, the street that I was raised on, uh, you know why I love this sneaker so much, man. In general, I feel like he killed this shoe. I love the Paisley print. You guys know I love Paisley print. I've been talking about that for years. I love that he meshed it with his flannel. I do not like that this Paisley will eventually tear off and expose an elephant print, but I love this sneaker, man. So glad to see Dunks slowly come back. Well, not even slowly, I feel like they're taking over. Here's another pair of Dunks, looking insane. These are the strange loves. If I ever do find some love, I'm definitely gonna be wearing these on any Valentine's date. These are so crucial. I do not like the translucent bottoms. As you can see, uh, I've actually been wearing these, but the price on these has gone up so crazy. I bought these for, I think, $450, which is, at the time, I felt like it was a good amount of money. That being said, said um yeah the price has definitely gone up and these are actually close in price with the travis scott dunk we have these uh these are some neighborhoods i love the midsole i love the design that being said i got a shout out born and raised because i personally do feel like those are somewhat similar to these right here if you guys know me you know i love born and raised i gotta show love to uh one of my favorite brands i feel like they killed it they do have a black pair as well i feel like there are some similarities that being said uh, i feel like the born and raised ones were a little bit more experimental with the pony hair upper and the color choice. These were super sick. I got these for 30 freaking dollars, which is a killer deal. It's not always about the hype. It's not always about the most expensive sneaker. I don't know why the Hell's Angels once again is revving his 
fucking motorcycle outside of my window. I apologize if Vin Diesel uh, just took a steroid injection and wants to flex on everyone outside. Here we have some Carhartt Air Forces, like I said. These are kind of reminiscent, or I guess I should say, I feel like there are some elements taken from this shoe on the Travis Scott Air Force Ones. Why is this guy just outside with the loudest fucking exhaust system I've ever heard in my entire life? But anyways, I love these. I do like Air Force. And of course, being a fan of Carhartts, I'm telling you, if you guys ever see the pant collection video, my Carhartt collection go crazy. Uh, some more low-key shit. We have these right here. These were extremely limited, but I really like this shoe from uh, Asics. I feel like there is no way that the designer of this sneaker was not abducted by aliens and anally probed because it's the only way you're coming up with this sneaker. It's actually fucking crazy. I love like the crazy silver. This translucent bottom right here with this. I just feel like this, they killed this shoe. I just love that sneaker some more asics that you guys probably won't like as much as me these right here i just feel like this is some like japanese shit uh here's a shoe that i just got because i thought it would be a good hiking boot or i wanted to test it out for hiking um i'm just gonna let you guys know right now it wasn't a good hiking boot then we have these right here this is a uh, okay I feel like I'm playing Django with sneakers right here. Anyways, this is a pair of Future Riders from Puma. These were some customs that I did at ComplexCon. It says 33-0 right there. Here's another pair of Pumas. Once again, super slept on, the Cell Venoms. I love this sneaker. It's like a chunky sneaker with a little air bubble down there. I feel like they killed these. Like I said, man, it's not always about the hype. You guys know when I was in New York, I saw all red pair of those too. I love those sneakers. These as well, another pair that I love. I just feel like this is a super clean A6 running sneaker. Ooh, these are so filthy, bro. The RSVP one stars. Once again, Again, you guys know I'm a big fan of this sneaker. Anyways, you have like a bunch of stars and you have the star right there on the back. I was blessed to get my hands on these. You guys will see another Midnight Studios sneaker that I did, which is also a one star. I really hope that Converse continues to push one stars. Here, okay, these right here, man, I feel like no one's gonna fuck with these, but if you're short, you might understand why I got these. You know what I'm saying? These are the Converse rain boots. Uh, these are actually women's sneakers, but I got them in a bigger size. So that way uh, I can catfish some females. And if I am going out with a girl that might be 5'7", five, 5'8", five, then this way I can add like a couple inches but i don't know i'll wear a fit with those soon you guys will see how i rock them if you follow me on instagram these once again this is the creme de la creme color once again like i said this is rumored to be the shoe that virgil designed with vans uh moving on this right here is the holy grail of sneakers i mentioned this before i showed you guys in the video where i showed you guys my top five most expensive sneakers this right here man is the nike huff sb blazer when this shoe was released i was broke as fuck could not get it my bro josh got the black ones and i was so jealous and uh this right here is the creme de la creme colorway i got this on amazon for 50 freaking dollars it's such a clean essential sneaker you can see you have the nike swoosh actually stitched in right there nike on the back has an old school look and when you love something you always got to double up so of course we got two but when you really love something you can't just double up you got to triple up so you know we got three like i said i got all three pairs from amazon.com for 50 freaking dollars here we have some new balance this was a recent collaboration my bro splash stock x no vacancy in uh there were 400 pairs released this is an amazing sneaker not to mention we have these beautiful off-white fives i really don't care for jordan off-white fives this box is insane um but yeah if you look right here definitely a clean shoe shout out to my homie at Foot Locker who actually assisted your boy in the complete to get these uh that was a crazy fucking weekend during NBA All-Star weekend okay so these are the fearless Jordan 1 mids um these are really dope I do love this pattern once I do my North Face Supreme collection video you guys will see I have a North Face that is not a collaboration with Supreme but it is a collaboration with Nordstrom's and it has a very similar design like this like I said I'm not the biggest Jordan guy I did get these court purples I actually got these off shoe palace shout out to the discord if you guys do not know i'm a part of a premium discord i literally would not have even known to check there if it wasn't for that discord so huge shout out to them for helping your boy secure these oh i almost put these back but i forgot i have one other sneaker up here to show you guys actually two but first these right here this is obviously a really popular design with golf i don't know if i'm going to keep these or if i'm going to sell them i like this shoe a lot and i feel like it definitely fits my style but i'm really curious what you'll think of I have to use this stepping stool because I'm a fucking child. But anyways, not these. These are the Yeezy blushes. I don't care to open these. You guys have all seen those a million times. However, a shoe that I think Sean will absolutely love. Let's see. You got me fucked up. 
<laughs> These are Balenciagas. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> this was a purchase that was very Sanji. Hitler sent those here? Huh? Hitler sent those Stop. here? Stop. One thing about me is a lot of the shoes that I end up keeping, I don't know, man. I feel like I don't need to keep like all the craziest hype shit. A lot of my favorite stuff will be things like this. Obviously, these are the uh, Nike SB Blazers. I got these at the, actually at the Nike outlet in Centralia for $30. And then if you look on the inside, you actually have some sprinkles in there, which I think is super dope. Uh, me and Paul Cantu copped a pair, 30 bucks a piece. Uh, then you have some shoes like this, you know, that like most people would not expect me to have. I love these. I have like several pairs of these. These ones are DS, but I have worn these quite a bit. Super simple shoe. These are actually Crooks and Castles. These literally look like canvas common projects. I don't know, man. You don't always need to have like the craziest name brand. We have some Ultra Boost. I don't really care about going into every single Ultra Boost that I have. I used to be a big fan of the Uncaged, so I definitely cannot skip over Uncaged. This is my first pair. It was actually a gift from a really good friend of mine, someone that I really, really value quite a bit. And that individual uh, knows who she is and basically changed my life. But anyway, we have some Vapor Maxes. These are not nearly as comfortable as Ultra Boost. The fact that was ever even a debate is insane. It's absolutely silly, but these are luscious lavenders. I definitely love the shoe, but whenever I walk on any surface that is like a hardwood or, bro, it sounds like 645AR wrapping. <laughs> We have the Janowskis. I only really wear these when I wear my Tacoma Rockets hockey jersey, but I do like Janowskis. We have the FTP. Oh my God, man. These are so sick. This wasn't announced as a collaboration with Huff, but it is a Huff shoe. Obviously, Zach has a lot of connections with Huff. Fuck the population across the midsole. I really wish I would have bought more pairs. I did buy originally like four pairs. I sold three of them, kept these ones. I wish I would have kept some more in the collection. We have these right here. These are the luscious lavender opening ceremony skate highs. I just love this colorway. We have some other sneakers like the Dharma Initial initiatives, some shoes that you guys may not know about. If you guys know what show this is from, comment down below and you guys are real ones. On the back it says shoe. It's this all canvas upper and then you have this like kind of raw cut uh, swoosh right there as well. Now another sneaker, one of the last sneakers I have to show you guys in here. Um, this right here. If you guys know me, you guys know I love hiking. I've taken a lot of pictures in the outdoors. I actually took these uh, up to the mountains. That being said, I did a pretty good job of keeping these clean. I like these shoes a lot. I love this colorway. Eventually, I'll probably end up selling these on Robotus and Poppy. And speaking of Kith Adidas collaborations, we're going to come into the living room now, go into a little bit more hype. Anyways, there's a collaboration between Kith and Adidas. Originally, I did this same type of upper, this like knit in an ultra boost. And I always felt that that shoe was like incomplete. Incomplete or incomplete? I'm fucking stupid. Anyways, it has like a white ultra boost and it had like the white little boost part on the back and I did have a pair of those but I sold them and I feel like this pair actually looked a lot better plus I really appreciate the future craft technology so I wanted to have a pair of future crafts in my collection I feel like this is one of the better pairs I actually know one of Drake's bodyguards he actually low-key flexed on me and sent me a picture mm -hmm. of these and he was like yo these are hard and I responded with a picture of mine and I was like I know I got a pair too anyways um that was a cool little moment uh, shout out to him he's a really solid dude Mike anyways uh these right here are the Nigel's uh Jordan ones one of the few Jordan ones I'll probably never get rid of in my collection I think it's absolutely beautiful that a BMXer has a Jordan 1. For those of you guys that don't know, I did used to BMX. Then we have these. I finally got these in the collection. I do not believe I've showed these off. This is a recent collaboration between Stussy and Nike. Uh, definitely an amazing sneaker and of course in the creme de la creme color. Look at these just... Look at this linen, looking like it came straight off a potato sack. Looks like they fucking skinned the armor of a peasant from the medieval era. We also have these. These are the Unions, one of my favorite Jordan 1s. I don't know if you know this, but this is the Jordan 1 that got me into Jordan 1. I never cared about Jordan 1s, because when I was a kid, like, when I was younger, I was broke. And like, you know how it is when you're broke and your parents aren't gonna buy you Jordans, like they're hella expensive. Mm -hmm. So I just never really fucked with Jordans like that. And that's why I really fucked with cheaper shoes, because I didn't have any money and I definitely wasn't gonna be going to buy Jordans. All my friends that were like D-boys or like really making money on their own, they could get Jordans but a lot of the poor folk like myself did not have the money to get Jordans. Like I said, these one stars are beat to shit. I've worn these a lot. I love this shoe. It's one of my favorite sneakers. With the one that I pull out quite regularly. Here you have the Vandy the Pink Chanel Forces. I bought these off Grail. I actually DM Vandy the Pink to have uh, them legit checked, even though I do have these Chanel's right here. Ooh, these are so sick, bro. I just pulled these out and wore them for the first time on Instagram. If you guys do not follow me on Instagram, change your life. The Starlight T H E S T A R L I F E. But anyways, I love these. You have all these different tones of pink, and I personally do like them. I really just wanted a pair of Chanel's because my friend Uffy Lane Snyder, who uh, just got out of prison, used to rap about Chanel a lot, and I didn't have any Chanel, and why the f are the Hells Angels outside my apartment again? Okay, so we have like five more shoes to go over. These are another pair from the Fear of God Converse collaboration. I love these sneakers. I have worn these quite a bit, as you can see. We have these right here, the Stussy Vans. Uh, those are not the first Stussies I owned. I did like the Vans collaboration. I wish I would have copped some more of these because I love these. I actually wear those quite a bit as well. These are also another collaboration with Converse and Midnight Studios. Once again, love these. I love the industrial design. I like that you have like some of the uh, patterns actually inverted. Getting into some of the last shoes that I have in the collection, we have the 
off-white blazers. Now, I feel like when people see my collection, a lot of them expect shit like this. A lot of hype shit. Now, the reason I love the off-white blazers so much, like I said, I'm a genuine fan of blazers. So, seeing a collaboration that kind of brings some hype back for me is dope. You know, like I love these sneakers. I think uh, Virgil actually killed it with these. It's my favorite of the off-white series. So, of course, we have the blacks. We have the original from the original 10. Then we have the Serena Williams. Of course, I needed these as well. I think I've worn these one time, but absolutely beautiful sneaker. I love the colorway on those. And then of course we have the Hollows Eves as well. Once again, an amazing sneaker. I love the colorway and I just, I had to cop. There are some uh, blazers that I would like to get. I would like to get the Milk Crate. Actually, you know what? My bro Sean's gotta go. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about that when he leaves. So uh, hold on one second, all right? All right, I'm gonna bid my boy farewell and I'm gonna come back and talk to you guys about some of the shoes that I do want in my collection very soon. All right, so there's a couple shoes that I do want to add to the collection that I don't have and I hopefully will be able to add it at some point. The uh, Tiffany Dunks is just a shoe that has a lot of sentimental value. I would like to get another pair of Space Tigers. That was actually my first pair of Dunks that I ever owned. And I've talked about why I got rid of a lot of my Dunks back in the day. And then almost all the other shoes that I want in the personal collection are Blazers. I would love to have the Stussy Blazers, which aren't super expensive. I just haven't felt the need to get them since I have the Dharma Initiatives and the Huff SB Blazers, which have like similar colorways. It's like that potato sack linen color. Uh, the Milk Crate SB Blazers I would love to have, but they're so freaking expensive. The Supreme Quilted SB Blazers, those are freaking gorgeous as well, the white color specifically. I think the Varsity Purple SB Blazers would be another one I'd like to add to the collection, but I just haven't found one at a price that I'm willing to pay. They're not super expensive, but it's still not what I feel. I feel like it's just kind of taxed because there's not a lot of DS pairs on the market. And the only other shoe that I can think of besides those shoes that I would like to have in the personal collection are actually uh, these like Bapes to that Taz is wearing, or at least like that color. I used to have a similar color. I sold it to my bro, Sean, who actually helped me film the video, and then he sold it to Dame, and then Dame went to prison, and now I have no idea where they are, which happens a lot when someone goes to prison. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully it gave you guys some insight to my sneaker collection, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want more collection videos, I have a Supreme North Face collection video that I gotta do soon. I have a Supreme collection video I like to do soon, and a lot of people have been asking for the pants collection video. Of course, take a second, hit that like button down below if you made it all the way through. I really appreciate it. Please comment chlamydia or anything just to let me know that you watched it all the way through. I would greatly appreciate that as well. Make sure you smash the like button, show some love in the comments, subscribe and turn on post notifications if you like the video. I got some videos coming this week. Thank you guys so much. Seriously, I would not be shit without you. I wouldn't have like almost any of these shoes if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you so much to everyone that supports me. I really appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. As always, before I say keep living the star life, follow me on Instagram at the star life, T-H-E-S-T-A-R-R-L-I-F-E. -E. Now, keep in the star life and peace the fuck out. Bang, hey, bitch, holla when you feel this. Fresh up out the county, tell them hoes to get up on me. I was in that motherfucker with some killers. <laughs>